right, here we go. I'm going to spend a few minutes um, talking to you about something that, uh, or area of writing that um, I didn't realize I had a um, style for. And really, people say, what's your style of writing? Well, um, sometimes you don't know when you start off writing because you haven't written, you know, and, and style is what is consistent in your writing. So um, it's how you, words you use, how you break up your paragraphs with dialogue, uh, it's your pacing, it's your endings of your stories, it's the type of characters that you tell, and also it's your anti-heroes, your villains. And I'm going to spend time talking about um, how I, my type of villains, who are my villains, um, who are my bad guys, who are my anti-heroes. Um, so, it was something that took me a little bit of time to really understand and master, and I don't know if I really mastered it, let me not use that, let me use that word loosely, because I still regard myself as a developing writer, um, until I guess I re write something that is universally accepted and applauded and received, then I'll say, okay, I'm, a, you know, I'm that type of writer, but, um, what uh, characters are for me, and, and, and I say for me because I'm not going to speak in general, you know, I don't know what, what other people do, um, but um, I'm a Gemini, and um, I naturally see both sides of an issue. Um, now, not that I side with killers, don't get me wrong, I draw the line, killing is, you know, is not cool, you hurt people that are living... However, then I'll say, okay, defensive, killing in defense, okay, is 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 not bad or it can be, it's, it's, it's debatable. So um, for me, I look at extremities, extremities and responses. Um, I understand, like I, I argue with parameters. So um, even if I'm disagreeing with you, doesn't mean I'm going to kill you, you know, um, I really probably wouldn't kill you unless you pose a direct threat to me. Now, if you reveal that in a conversation, okay, possibly. But um, people go too far. You see these comments on social media, people calling people out each other's name. I'll come at you. You lucky I don't live where you live. Uh, I know you. I'm going to be by your house. Oh, what? Over a difference of opinion, you know. Um, so that's real. So that becomes my... Um, villain. My villains are usually people that people, one one of the type of villains, that have a difference of, 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 of opinion. They see things differently and thus they come into conflict with each other um, over that difference. Um, and I think that's what makes uh, a villain really, 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 really good. You know, when you think of Loki, when you think of um, the one that I like from Daredevil, Kingpin, the Netflix Daredevil, um, uh, Samuel Jackson in Kingsman, the first Kingsman, um, even Thanos, the one that everybody likes now, um, these villains were raised different or believed different, they're different types of people, they may be harsh, immediate disciplinarians, um, and so thus moving on that difference of opinion is what really makes them uh, anti-hero, makes them a bad guy, you know, they're willing to kill for something that most people don't agree with. Now, if you're killing um, in the name of good, if you are um, protecting people, um, and you, your goal is not to just kill them, but mostly, more so um, stop them, and having to kill them is the only way to stop them, okay, then you're not a bad guy. And I remember um, I was always always tease people, you know, up until um, the, the new digital Star Wars, that I used to always say, well, what is so bad about Darth Vader? You know, okay, he blew up a planet because the planet was against his methodology. Um, he, he blew up um, Princess Leia's whole planet. Now that was bad 
because you're going to assume that there were some innocent people on there. And you'll assume that there's no way a whole group of people can be bad. And I'm not going to say that that is wrong. I'm not going to say that is right. I just will say at this point, I ain't going to debate you. I'll leave that alone. But I certainly feel that there have been groups of people um, throughout the history of the earth that I personally would have felt could have just got blown all the way. I wouldn't give a fuck about them. I'm sorry to curse, but yo, what? No way. So I might have just done a Darth Vader. So in that search for understanding Darth Vader, I also um, I picked up this book, Lost Tribe of the Sith. And I was like, all right, maybe he's bad because he joined a group of bad people. And maybe the Sith are bad. I want to learn how to write bad people, right? I want to learn how to write a bad person. So let me read this book and get an idea of how they write bad people. Man, I'm reading The Lost Tribe of the Sith, and they, they are ship crashes on the planet. They come off. They find out that people are weak, so they dominate the people, but they don't put them in gas chambers. They don't kill all the people. They, they subjugate them, um, but they don't rape them because it's a children's book. Um, they don't work them to death. You know, um, they interrelate with them, become the people over hundreds of years because they, they crashed on a planet and they're, they don't have the technology to get off the planet because their ships got destroyed. And then, oh, you know, over the years, the people become the Sith. And I'm saying to myself, well, well, damn, you know, that's not nice. No question, you know. And, you know, is a bad person just a rude person? Is a bad person that just does things that you don't agree with? Um, is a bad person just go about things in a different way? Possibly, you know, but I'm thinking it's got to be more than that. I mean, the Sith... And um, um, Darth Vader in uh, in Star Wars, they looked at as Nazis. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting to be like murderous. You know, like Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Holy moly, killing fields. You know, just killing miscellaneously, all types of stuff. But no, it's not. They're raising their children. They're just subjugating people. Now I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong, and I wouldn't do it. But that don't seem that bad, you know, and then there's another, um, so that's just one, right, so like in my book, a um, couple of my books, um, Rashida the Zombie Killer, there's an anti-hero in there, um, um, Mike Controller, right, he's a bitter MC, and um, he feels that, uh, similar to Samuel Jackson, that um, there's too much violence, and maybe if we have a violence purge, people will learn to not be so violent, you know, because they'll all um, see the results of their violence taken from the fact that sometimes people experience um, so much fighting that they become passive and they realize that they can't you can't beat everybody, it's a dead end street, so you've gone down this street. In the process of him feeling that way or as a byproduct of those thoughts, he goes further and says, you know what, I'm going to make everybody violent. I'm going to take this device that is instrument in Rashida the Zombie Killer and I'm going to turn the world violent. And even if it's just for a day, they'll learn how to calm down because they're too violent. Now, he doesn't know necessarily how violent it's going to make the people, but he doesn't really care. And that is extreme. So thus he becomes the bad guy that Rashida has to stop. Does she kill him? It doesn't matter. I mean, it's not really that deep. It's just innate, stopping him from um, disenabling him, stopping, get, stopping him from achieving his main goal. And if you neutralize him, then he's no longer a threat and you don't have to kill him. At least that's what you think as a hero. <laughs> lock them up, maybe if they've done some um, penalties, then then cool, you know um, but then there's the other thing, there's this other type of villain, this is the Joker this is the Psycho this is um, the Freddy Krueger, this is Jason this is probably even the werewolf if you 
want to go extreme. This uncontrollable, unexplainable madman. And in early European American stories, just being called a madman was enough to justify that this guy was a bad guy. And then when you look at Freddy Krueger, you look at Jason, um, you'll probably look into Psycho, um, you look into the Joker, then there's a method to their madness. And then you say, well, damn, these were people that just needed love in their lives. Then they just needed caring. They just needed therapy. So what is bad? Um, so I, th I say all of that to just, you know, I know I'm approaching like the 10 minute mark. I try to keep it uh, around this time. But I just like to say like bad is um, subjective. Uh, the best bad is the actions and deeds, but the motivation behind it. If people can kind of understand, you know, and see that this person is extreme, I don't know if you'll all agree with me. It's probably just my, my opinion, which I don't have a problem it being just my opinion. So you throw my advice into a pot of other people's advice, so that way you can choose and make up your own opinion, because... I don't, I don't want every writer to write like me, um, and I don't think that's possible, but I don't want people to think my advice is the only advice and only take my advice from me. So I'm just throwing my hat in there. I've read enough uh, writing tip books, where, whether it was film writing to uh, book writing novels to even comic books and stories for comic books to know that there's no exact to anything. And that's the beauty of it all. It's an art. And so people's art vary. Um, so I'm sharing you my uh, variation on um, villains. Um, to me, like I said, they're just people that are different people who may, may have a decent message. They're people that represent thoughts that you could possibly have. I think that, you know, the moment you see something that could possibly be you or a thought that you've entertained and if you got too carried away well it would be yo that could be you you know I think what was so scary to me about crack and in, the, in the 90s or the 80s was that yo it felt like if you took it you could become a crack addict you're like holy moly so um that's I think also alluring you know the fact that these um, villains can be you they could be people you know um, people you can't argue down you know you may not agree with them but you can't even prove them wrong that is so irritating I think villains are irritating like that so um, I'm going to play this back because I said some good stuff that I want to I probably will need to hear when I'm re re uh, approaching some more villains I might forget some of the stuff that I'm saying but this is what I'm saying about villains yo Make a villain that's irritating, that you disagree with, and that's extreme. All right? Um, until the next time I'm driving somewhere, uh, today is free comic book day. I'm representing Luke Cage, the corny Luke Cage. This the intermediate Luke Cage where they was trying to do a little something with his um, bracelets. They lost the tiara, but he's still corny. The best Luke Cage is, is on um, Netflix. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. Enjoy.